I'm the CEO of the Coalition DJs, and we are the largest DJ crew in the world. I think when I first started, the role of the DJ was just like to just get the party started, just get everybody like live. The art of DJing had to change from being party rockers into now we are actually marketers and promoters. Some of the records I've been a part of breaking has been like Future, Migos, um, 2 Chains, Jeezy, YFN, Lucci, E-40, Too Short, a lot of, lot of artists. We've been around 12 years, so we've touched a lot of artists and changed a lot of lives. I think you could tell a hit record in the first 15 seconds, a, a 15 to 30 seconds of hearing a record. Um, the beat, number one, is gonna catch you and the hook is gonna catch you. Cause I think a lot of times, even when you listen to a record, unless that person is very lyrical and you were really into him as an MC, you don't really remember the rap five years later. You know what I'm saying? But you're gonna remember that hook. The hook is what catches you. So if the hook catches you and the beat catches you nine times out of 10 from a DJ, you know you can play that in the club. The artist relationship with a DJ best would work if the artist really got to get to know the DJ and went out and did the groundwork and did a lot of the work that's supposed to be done by an artist, opposed to thinking that, you know, if I put my record on the internet, it's just going to take off. One of the main parts about music right now is the the ability to go out and meet different people and meet the DJ and that type of thing. I think that's what's holding a lot of artists back, is nobody want to do the work. <laughs> Yo, this is DJ Big X from the Coalition DJs. Respect the DJ.